Hey, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to add a song from our iTunes library into our timeline in Final Cut Pro. But the problem with that is, is that if you upload this to YouTube, chances are you're gonna get a copyright infringement and you're not gonna be able to monetize your video, AKA you're not gonna be able to make money via ad revenue. So what do you do? What do I do? What I do is I go up to the internet browser and I type in YouTube audio library, just like that. It's the first one at the top, YouTube audio library. Now this is great. It's got a ton of music. It also has sound effects. Uh, Final Cut Pro has sound effects as well. We'll talk about that in a video to come. Uh, but what I'm focused on right now pretty much is free background music. Now you can go ahead and play around with these without downloading them. I don't know what you guys can hear that. Sounds really good though. And they've got filters up here as well. They've got genre, is it classical, is it holiday, is it jazz? They've got the mood, is it angry, is it sad, inspirational, instrument, is it bass, drums, organ, duration? I don't really worry about that because I'll just crop out uh, however long the video is. And uh, that's kind of the gist. So what you guys are gonna wanna do is play around with this, see what you like, see which theme would work best for your video is it a inspirational cat video is it a maybe infomercial you're doing is it a sports video where you want something kind of upbeat maybe some rock and roll let's go for that let's go for happy and we'll go for rock and rock just like that what do we got happy be surf let's check this out <laughs> Then we'd go over here to this little download icon, just like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. I'm gonna reveal it in Finder. Now you can go ahead and just drag this to your desktop. You can go ahead and put it, I'll put it to my desktop. Is that gonna work? Yeah. Uh, you could put it on an external hard drive and then source it into your Final Cut Pro library from there. It's your call. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll just go ahead and drag it to my library. I will get rid of this song that we had from the previous video that's gonna get us in trouble if we try to put it on YouTube and get paid. And we'll go ahead and drag that in there. All right guys, good luck with this. In the next video, I wanna talk about fading in and fading out music. So we avoid something like, let me go and use my blade tool and I'm gonna stiff it there and I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna delete that. Let's go ahead and play this, but see what happens. It doesn't fade out automatically. Let's go ahead and play it back a little bit longer. See, I want to avoid that. I want it to slowly fade out. So good luck with that. YouTube audio library, play around with it, see what you like. And uh, good luck with that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And one thing I want to point out, if you guys consistently make YouTube videos, maybe stick with one song that helps better brand your videos or brand your content. If you have an intro theme and you use a different song every time, uh, it might not be as catching as it would if it was the same song, almost kind of like a sitcom, like the intro of Full House or uh, what's the one with Steve Urkel? Family Matters. They always play like the same song and it kind of engages you and gets you going to see what, what else is to come. All right, guys, enough of me rambling. Good luck with this. In the next video, we'll talk about how we fade in and fade out our audio. See you over there.